Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show so uh this is going to be a sagittarius sun sagittarius moon and as well a rising um the weekly general tarot reading in terms of love and career and the first thing that we're going to have a look at for you guys is going to be your uh, love and relationship aspect of the week now give me a second to shuffle the cards and uh, we're going to jump right into it So, uh, the first card in terms of love and relationship is going to be uh, the Five of Pentacles, uh, followed by the Queen of Wands. Moving next, we do have the Four of Pentacles, and the last one is going to be the Six of Swords. All right, so uh, things uh, in terms of the upcoming week, it may look a little bit tense, to say the least. And that is just only how they're going to look at, uh, how, how they're going to look like. The thing is that uh, you Sagittarius may feel a bit in uncertain and insecure in terms of uh, your relationship, especially if that relationship it is a newly formed. Uh, and I'm talking about a true jealousy that may come up um, and start residing within you. For example, you do see your partner chatting with somebody and that nagging feeling that may not be very common for you may start kind of like dwelling within you. And uh, that's, uh, it's for a good reason, okay? Uh, and under a good reason, I don't mean that you do have any, um, how can I say, any rightful, predisposition to doubt your partner but it is a good reason because through that feeling you are going to raise certain questions okay uh, or that feeling is going to provoke a certain arguments and conversations and through those questions argument and conversations you will be able to clear out a future misunderstandings that may happen um within your current relationship, marriage, or a interaction that you do have with someone of interest. And that being said, that will help you to ensure a more secure future uh, for your love moving forward into the future itself. And thus, uh, by the end of the week, you are going to significantly, and I mean significantly, improve your circumstances when it comes to uh, your love life, into your current marriage, into your current relationship, into your, um, you know, interaction. That is because you pretty much, it's not like you had the courage, but let's say you had the impulse to uh, talk about and do stuff that under normal circumstances you may feel awkward doing it, you may not have the guts to do it or to talk about these things and so on and so forth. So it's pretty much the the dirty work is going to get out of the way. You, you're pretty much going to do it throughout. Um, you're going to do that dirty work throughout the week, having or riding the tide, the impulse uh, tide here. Mm, that being said, uh, this does not in, exclude any competition. Now, this queen of wands, it's actually, it should be a person in your case that it is trying to get attention to your partner or a person of interest. Now, is the queen is going to succeed or not? And under a queen, uh, I don't mean that this is just only a woman. It could be as well, as well a man, all right? 
Uh, but the thing is, is that is that queen is going to succeed or not will depend heavily on you. And uh, if you do act extremely emotionally, you give ultimatums, uh, you pretty much put your person of interest or your partner with their back against the wall, having to choose in between one or the other, the, the chance is pretty big that you may lose your partner. I mean, you, you have to approach the matter with confidence, even if you may not feel like confident at that point, and uh, talk about with an open ending, if you will, about the things that are bothering you within the relationship, marriage, or the interaction itself. And that will open a variety of a varieties of ways uh, to fix whatever bothers you. And through the versatile options available, like I said, you will be able to significantly improve your circumstances and ensure a certain and secure future for your a love life. Those that are, a, are looking for a relationship, they don't have person of interest, nothing, they're starting from scratch. Uh, the week is pretty much blank. Um, by the end of the week, you may have some sort of a, a little shreds of interest that may appear uh, with the Six of Swords having it there. But the thing is that uh, as the week progresses for you guys, it doesn't look like that you are going to miss it that much. Uh, probably you're going to have other things that you can undertake that will eclipse the feeling of... Um, uh, how do you say it? Loneliness. Okay. So that being said, that was Sagittarius. Your a uh, love reading for the week. Now let me uh, reshuffle the cards and see how your career is gonna move forward. Right, so the first one is going to be the Six of Cups, uh, followed by uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Four of Cups. And the last one is going to be the Ten of Wands. Um, I don't want to say that it is pretty trivial, uh, but the week itself in terms of career does look somewhat optimistic. And under trivial, I mean that there won't be much of a change in terms of the things you do into your job, okay, or into your business, it is just the enjoyment um, or the joy that you're gonna have from getting the job done, undertaking with your tasks and your responsibilities there is going to increase throughout the week itself. Now, the problem that we do have it is this individual, which could be a client of yours, or uh, it could be a, a coworker, it could be your supervisor as well, which is the Knights of Pentacles into that particular position. And these are a generally a people who want the things to have a certain structure and certain plan. And if there is a, a gap somewhere uh, and, you pl and you are planning to resolve the matter on a go, you know, whenever the time for it comes, this is when you're going to think about it. Uh, these people does not handle those situations very well. They want to know what is going to happen, you know, 10 steps from now or 10 days from now and if they don't know that that drives them mad that drives them crazy now obviously if that's just a co-worker of yours ignore them you know but if that's your boss I'm I, I, I afraid that you're gonna have a tough time because they will constantly gonna breathe in your neck asking you what do you plan to do what you how, how you're gonna deal with that client five days from now you know and what, what are you planning to do if this happened with the project or if that client doesn't call and so on and so forth things that you have no clue uh, how to uh, at that particular point how to tackle it because they haven't happened they may not happen and you haven't thought about it even okay so these are that kind of a people that wants to have a resolution for every single thing that possibly could happen with the project work career etc etc and you have to work with them throughout the week now that being said um the week is going to be great for you uh, Sagittarius because 
with the four of cups it seems that you're gonna start go, going to start feel ready for a new undertakings for a new challenges and probably you are going to start looking around now with the ten of wands having it at the end that card predisposed that you're going to have the power to choose your own proceedings uh that being said um it does look like that you may uh take um larger bites that you can chew on one on one swing or on one sip and that may overload your time, it may overload you in general uh, and your capabilities as well. So you have to be very careful what kind of what kind of a deal you are signing yourself for. Uh, and not just because, you know, you can sign up for something that um, you may not be able to perform into, but it's just you may sign up for something that, you know, is going to eat much more of your time, of your resources that you are willing to spend currently. And pretty much that's about all that there is to it for your career, for those that are working, that are having businesses. Now, those that are a looking for uh, looking for a job, uh, it does look like that we do have a, a pretty fearsome competition that you will have to stand against. Now, the thing is, is that uh, it is not granted that you are going to get the job, but it is not granted that you are going to be laid off as well from the application. So it is uh, within your hands. Those cards here are urging you to have fun with you know the interview uh, it is just you know feel yourself at home that's that's the best well that's the best way how you can tackle with it and should you get a job uh it will be pretty responsible one i mean a lot will be asked from you to do but also the job itself is going to be a an amazing opportunity for you to grow and moving forward because with the ten of ones as a starting card of a job it does predispose that the job is going to gift you with a power or you can reach a position of uh, of power so it speaks that it is a job that you can grow and uh, climb the higher summits that are possible to be climbed out there so that being said sagittarius this was your a uh, weekly general tarot readings guys in terms of a uh, love and career hopefully you have enjoyed them and you like them and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye